Mobile gaming is all there is these days, with AAA game developers releasing games for smartphones, but we all have faced certain issues like overheating, frame drops and lag while playing some of the most popular games such as Call of Duty or even Minecraft. Hey everyone, this is Technafees and in this video I'll share 5 tips to help you all boost your Android's gaming performance for free. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so let's start off with installing a Game Booster app, but if you notice, most of the updated phones already come with a pre-installed Game Booster, which gets triggered automatically when you run a game on your device. In my case, Samsung Game Booster does its job without any issues. So make sure to check whether your phone already has a Game Booster mode or not. Moreover, if you're gonna download a Game Booster, just make sure that you don't have any task killer apps running in the background. There's a difference between task killing and game boosting apps. If you want to boost your Android's gaming performance, then always use game boosting apps and not task killing apps. You might wonder why. That's because the game boosters pause the background apps when you launch a game and all those paused apps are enabled once again after you have closed the game. On the other hand, the task killer basically kills all the running apps including some of the essential ones too. The downside of using task killers is that Android will relaunch the killed apps in background leading to more lag while playing games. This also causes more battery consumption. For example, here I am using the Game Booster app by Busy and Mobi, which also features support for rooted devices. You can also use the FPS monitor to measure how effective the Game Booster app is. Second tip is to turn on force GPU rendering. What it basically does is the GPU of your smartphone will take care of all the queries or processes related to graphics processing instead of the CPU. This takes off the load from the CPU which can easily process the other queries relating to the game. Here's how to enable force GPU rendering. Go to settings and turn on developer options. In case you don't have developer options in your device, then go to about phone and click 5-7 to seven times on build number option. There will be a pop-up message saying you are now a developer. Go back to settings and now you will be able to see the developer options. Click on it and go to hardware accelerated rendering option. Change the settings to force GPU rendering. But wait, wait, wait. Please note by enabling force GPU rendering, your phone will now consume more battery. The third tip is to clear cache and free up some storage. All Android devices perform slowly when they are low on storage, so make sure there's ample of storage available on your device. You can clear up storage on your phone by clearing app cache or removing bloat per apps. You can also clear some cache by using a file manager or removing them individually from the settings. Here's a pro tip, make sure to keep your phone storage always under 90%. The fourth tip is to avoid using live wallpapers and extra widgets. Make sure to avoid using live wallpapers and extra widgets as a use of the extra RAM which directly affects the gaming performance of an Android device. The fifth tip is to update your games. Another way to boost your Android gaming performance is to update your game. But make sure to check the most recent reviews of the game for your device in Play Store and based on the most recent reviews, you can make the decision of updating the app or not. If none of these tips aren't helping you boost your Android's gaming performance, then the last resort is to reset your phone. Make sure to back it up before resetting it. So I hope these tips helped you. Let me know in the comments if you face any issues. Be sure to give a like and subscribe my channel if you love watching content like these. Thanks for watching. Meet you all in the next one. Till then, goodbye.